Hey everyone, Mike McClellan here with uh, Bass Resource to talk about fall jig fishing. And uh, you know, uh, it's just that time of year when uh, fishing can kind of get tough. It doesn't really matter what part of the country you're in. When you start talking about fall fishing, uh, fishing gets tough. And one of the biggest reasons you got to understand that fishing does typically get tough in the fall is that transitional period when the thermocline breaks up in a body of water. Now, that's gonna be a period of about a two or three week period where fish just really freak out and it really, really gets tough. But leading up to that thermocline breaking up, and then once it breaks up, you really can catch a lot of fish on a jig. And, uh, you know, typically in the fall, anywhere you go across the country, um, a lot of different things are happening you know sometimes the water temperature is cooling down the fish are getting a little bit active they're starting to you know chase shad on the surface and things like that they're uh, you know up chasing uh, shore minnows and, and a lot of different things like that so i'm always going to have a swim jig in my arsenal in the fall you know shad colors typically are going to be something that plays when i'm fishing you know lakes that got colored water got a lot of uh, you know bait fish in them especially when you get up into the backs of the creeks into uh, you know some of the river systems things like that a shad colored swim jig in the fall can really be a key you know quarter ounce three eighths ounce five sixteenths half ounce swim jig with uh, you know generally shad style trailers i mean i typically like a big bite swim on i like a big bite pro swimmer big bite finesse swimmer something to make that bait you know really look like a shad uh, typically you know there's going to be those situations where there's uh, still some brim spawning you know late late summer into the early part of the fall so a brim colored swim jig can also play in the fall but generally the thermocline in my opinion in the fall is probably the biggest key to catching fish on a jig if you're fishing a lake that develops a thermocline and you know using your electronics today i mean we've all got good electronics today you can get out and typically the best way to find the thermocline is get out over you know some of the deepest water in the lake and adjust your sensitivity up till the screen starts to kind of black out and then back it back down and you'll start seeing a real defined haze at a certain level on your electronics or you'll just start noticing that all of the shad all of the bait fish all of the fish that you're seeing all typically are at one specific depth and once you determine where that thermocline is, that's really where I'm going to start my focus with fall jig fishing offshore. And, uh, you know, I'm basically going to do that with always a football jig. I mean, I'm generally going to be throwing a 5 8 ounce, a uh, 3 quarter ounce football jig in a variety of, you know, different colors. Crawfish colors uh, typically are going to be my first choice. I like a lot of green pumpkins with different shades of, you know, oranges, browns, greens, things of that nature, you know, depending on what the main forage is in a body of water. Um, trailers can be a big, big deal that time of the year, and, and I think you got to really go through a lot of different trailers until you determine, you know, what the fish want. Sometimes they want a trailer that's relatively subtle when you get to the fall. A lot of times I'll use a, a bait with a little uh, Big Bite Sensation Quarantine Crawl, just something real finessey. Uh, those fish have gotten a lot of pressure a lot of times and something like this little big bite quarantine crawl It's scented. It's going to give you the maximum opportunity to generate bites. I'm throwing it on a little a uh, three-eighths half ounce uh, little hybrid head that I'm working on designing right now for big bite and uh, It's a bait that I can generate a lot of bites on if I'll focus my efforts out there around the thermocline sometimes a big you know, floppy style trailer will get bites and, uh, you know, something like the Big Bite Kamikaze Crawl is a, a good trailer, a Big Bite uh, Battle Bug. But one of the things in the fall that becomes critical is once you determine where that th thermocline is, a lot of times, a lot of the fish you catch, you're going to catch them on the move. Uh, we do a lot of what we call strolling. Get out there at that thermocline depth and you're basically just dragging your jig around, football jig around at that specific depth. And that's where the size of your jig becomes so critical. I mean, if you're fishing a lake 
that the thermocline sets up in, you know, say 12, 15, 18 foot of water, you know, you can get away with generally a half ounce or a five eighths. But if you're fishing one of those deep clear Ozark lakes like we have there in, in the Ozarks, a lot of times those fish will get, you know, 30, 35, 40, 45 foot. And that's when you've got to have, you know, a three quarter, even sometimes a one ounce football jig to keep that bait down there on the bottom because it seems like your success rate really goes up when you're dragging that jig at a constant speed. On those days when the wind blows, it's really, really weird because it, it feels like if you will fish that jig at the rate that the natural flow of the water moving is, that's when you tend to generate the most bites. When it comes to rods and reels, I mean, my jig fishing doesn't vary a lot through the course of the year. I mean, 99% of the time I'm going to be throwing two different rods when I'm throwing a jig. I'm either going to be throwing a Falcon 6174. Uh, generally in the fall, or in, yeah, in the fall, I'm still going to be throwing Sunline Shooter. It is the uh, fluorocarbon that has the absolute least amount of stretch. It is the most sensitive. Uh, it's the one that, to me, gets the job done in those warmer months of the year. It, it isn't as soft and pliable as, as shoot or as sniper, but uh, during the summer, the warmer months of the year, in the fall, you can definitely uh, use the shooter and, and have maximum success. Um, line size. Typically in the fall, I want my rate of fall to be a little bit faster sometimes because a lot of times when you determine the depth those fish are at that thermocline, it becomes critical to, you know, they'll bite that bait on that initial presentation. So, you know, a lot of times I'll back down to 16 shooter in the fall because I want that high rate of fall, especially when I'm throwing, you know, three quarter, one ounce football jig. Uh, another thing that you really want to keep in mind when you're looking for fish in the fall, is determining where those fish are relating to that thermocline. There's two or three things that I really look at. I'll look at where a creek channel makes a swing onto a flat. And what I want to do is I want to find where that thermocline and that flat meet each other. A lot of times, you know, just long gravel flats out on the main lake can be another real key. And I'll just graph and idle around till you find, you know, brush piles, old stumps, you know, little ledges that basically come in coincidence with where the thermocline hits the bottom of the lake and then the other place that I really really like to look for fall jig fish is on bluff end points. Anywhere you've got like a major bluff end that swings out and makes a point they really like to set up on those bluff end points in the fall. Timber is just an added bonus. I love to fish standing pole timber you know some isolated cedar trees you don't want to be out there just dragging around on bare flats. You want to look for the structure and uh, yeah, that's when our electronics become so so important anymore. You know, with live scope now, you're not out there just dragging a jig around. You're out there throwing a jig at fish that you can actually see whether they're set up on brush, whether they're just set up at the thermocline level or an isolated stump or a ledge. You got to pay attention to your electronics. So uh, use those tips and I think you're going to catch more fish on a jig this fall.